Hi everyone, in this audio tutorial we are going to discuss about the multi-company features and company dependent data attributes in Odoo. I have this module installed. Here I have a simple form including a product and company drop down many to one fields. So let's first know how to create a company dependent field. We will go through each and every section one by one. So let's jump in. In order to create a company dependent field, first let's say I have this model here and I'm going to add a product status that will be company dependent which means its value will be different for each company. It will be a simple character field. The name of the field will be product status and we have to specify an attribute called company dependent and the value will be true. If we have this attribute set on the field this field will not be stored in the database and it will have different values in different companies let's just define this field in the form view restart our Odoo server let's go on and upgrade our module Now once it's updated the field is there and let me add a value let's say available and let's go to a different company and you can see that the value is not appearing here because it is company dependent now let's say uh, not available product status in this company and now if I switch to another company we will see that the value added in that company will be appearing here so the value is respective to the company and in this company we don't have any value so this is how we can add a company dependent field and have different values of the same field in different companies and if i go to the settings menu in the technical if we scroll down to company properties this is the table where the values of that specific field will be stored this is the IR property table where the value of the company dependent fields are stored and if I switch the company and try to find the value of this field product status it will be stored whatever we have saved in the form view this is how we can add company dependent fields in Odoo. Now let's jump into the next section. Now let's say that we have to read the value of a company dependent field from a different company. So I am going to create a separate field. Let's say product status underscore two. So this will be the field where the value of the product status field which is a company dependent field will be stored or updated and I will have a company ID too. I will use this company ID to fetch the value of product status field. So what I am going to do is I am going to create a button that once I click that button and I provide a company ID it will provide me with the value of product status in that specific company let me define a button and we have to assign the value in our product status too we can get the value by using the attribute with company and inside this function we are going to pass the company from which we need the value or from which we need to fetch the value of a company dependent field so this product status after the with company should be a company dependent field in order to fetch the right value of the company that we are going to pass in the function so i have a function method or a button get product status let's add it in the form view also I'm going to create a new group i have product status to field a company id to field which i will be using to fetch the value of product status field 
and I'm going to create a button let's create a button let's pass the name uh, let's put the string as get value as we need to retrieve the value and the type of this button will be object as we are going to call the python function so once I click this button it should retrieve the value of product status field into product status 2 based on the company that I am going to give. Now let's go on and upgrade our module. Now let's go on to our module and we have the fields and the button. Now as we know that we have different values of product status in different companies and let's say that I need to fetch the value of this specific field into my new product status field I need to pass a new company and click get value and here you go it is giving me the value from the required company it is updating the correct value so using with underscore company and passing the relative company we can get the product status value or any company dependent value for that matter now let's say that i have many to one fields or drop down fields in my form view and i want the records to be displayed only related to my selected companies this brings us to our next section which is check company and underscore check underscore company underscore auto attributes now let's say as i have a product field here which is a many to one field and what i want is the list of products that it is showing should be related to the current company or if the company is not set in the products at all so i have uh, for example chicago company selected we have to use an attribute called check underscore company and the value will be set to true and if this attribute is added to a field it will show the list of the records related to current company it is basically going to apply a domain on our many to one field and domain will be set according to the following formula which is company id is equal to false that either the company does not exist in the record or the company id is in the selected companies by the user this company id is here is actually equal to the selected companies by the user either one or more so for this attribute it is very important that the model that we are applying this attribute to should have company id field in it which in our case is product product which has the company id field now let's go on let's see that we have a product here and we can assign a company field to this product go on and let's just group by the product with the companies now as you can see there is no company assigned in the product let's go and try to assign a company to a product and it has some moves already we cannot do that let's go on and switch the company let's group by with the company here i think we have some company assigned yeah so we can use this product to see the results and in a company again if i group by with company we have a product called test product so we know that this company belongs to a e company now as we have that attribute set it should not display the product in another company so as you can see that 
product is not displayed here but if i switch to the ae company it should display here so by using the check underscore company attribute we can apply the domain on our field that it will be showing the company related records only if the company id field exists in that model so this is how check company equals to true attribute works in a field now let's say if i don't want to add check company in multiple fields in the same model then we have another attribute which is check company auto equals to true so if this attribute is specified we don't need to add check company true to multiple fields let's say we have more than one fields and we don't want to specify a check company true in all the fields we can just simply use check company auto equals to true in the model declaration in the class and if i upgrade the module now let's see the same filter or same domain should be working for all the many to one fields which have company id in their model it will be working accordingly as you can see we have this product here in ae company so this is how we can use check company and check company auto attributes to apply the domain in related fields now let's move to our next section which is multi company record fields now let's say if i have a list of records for the same model in different companies but we want to show the related records in the related selected companies only for that we need to create a record rule so let's create a record rule for our model model of this record will be ir.rule next we are going to specify the name this should be any name which in my case i'll put multi company record rule for demo data next we need to specify the model id that which model this record rule is related to and in the reference we are going to pass the model name with the module name dot model underscore our actual model name or the database table name which in our case will be company dependent data and lastly we are going to pass the domain we have an attribute or a field named domain force here we will pass the domain that we want to see the records which either don't have the company id field set or just copy and paste or the company id is in the list of companies selected by the users this can be one or more than one company so this is the domain we are going to use so when a user is going to open this specific menu he is only going to see the records related to the current selected companies let's go on and upgrade our module go to our list and as you can see that i have records in different companies but the records are visible to related company only whatever i have in chicago company is not visible in ae or san francisco company if we go to the settings and technical and record rule let's search our created record rule here we have a field called global currently it is global because we have not specified any groups 
if we specify any group here this record rule will apply to those groups only we also have read write create and delete permissions if we don't specify that in code it will be considered true as well so this is how we can use multi-company record rules to filter company related data this is very helpful in getting the correct results for your reporting and other functionalities in odoo so this is how you can use multi-company features and company dependent attributes in odoo to filter your records to manage your data accordingly and to avoid any discrepancies that may occur that's it for this video if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this